So, hey guys, and welcome aboard to another video with me, Silverbird Action. I'm just going to check that the capture is capturing. Yes, the capture is capturing. So, hey guys, welcome aboard with to another video with Silverbird Actual. This is the first part of our flight today from Doha Hamad to Dubai. Dubai World, uh, it's not Dubai World Center, it's Dubai International. So, what we'll do is just say Doha, Dubai. Now going from Hamad to Dubai International, we'll just do that search. The website one by the way is Flight Away, it's a very good tool to use. I'll talk a little bit more about that. So these, these are the kind of aircraft that they use in terms of the trip. It's it's a very short trip. It's, yeah, scheduled not too particularly long, put it that way. I mean, flight time's usually under an hour. So they use between 737-800s to A320s to even 777-300s and A330s. So we're going to look at Qatari 1004, and that's the rough route, route it takes. Now unfortunately, uh, outside of the US, Flight Aware doesn't provide you with a route, but it provides you with some handy information, such as the, the actual route the aircraft they're using, which is Qatari, well, A320. Let me pop the image up. There is a photograph of the A320 that's being made. It must be quite a new aircraft. So what we can do now is we can just uh, move over to Simbrief. It's a free tool. Uh, all you've got to do is pay for your ARX, which are these things, which are just the nav updates. So what we can do is you can see I've got a number of safe flights that have flown over the last few days. For example, just to, earlier today I was doing this trip, which I might talk about later on in the flight. So, new flight. It's generally the way we do things. Our call sign today, well, we're using Q... TR, and if you look back here, it's 1004. Departing OTHH for OMDB. In terms of alternates, we're planned for OMDW, which is Dubai World Central. We'll depart in yeah about half an hour, that's quite a nice departure time. Now, I want to fly the A321 today. So just going to rejiggle this thing a little bit. Now it's got us a route. Just hit analyze route. And there you go. So that's the, the route. It's roughly the same route that they took when they flew on, well, IRL, you can see. But here they've hooked around the back of Dubai to land on runway 31. Uh, which obviously this doesn't take into account. I'll just get rid of that. So, that's everything calculated. Now you'll notice it's already come with a route. It may not give you a route, so you've got to, you'll have to use one of these. But that's not something you're concerned about at this stage. Added level of realism. You've got a lot of uh, flight plan formats you can use. Lido, American, Air Canada, Air France, uh, US Airways, British Airways, Air Berlin, I think that's Delta, Lufthansa, EasyJet, which has just been added apparently. German Wings, JetBlue, J Air, Jazz Air, KLM, Ryanair, Southwest, uh, Emirates, United, and United, whatever that means. We'll stick to Lido, which is Lufthansa Systems, which are the guys who do, uh, do a lot of the flight planning for a lot of the firms. Now we're in the Airbus, so it stays in kilograms. Contingency fuel is 5% reserve fuel. This is a 45 minute reserve requirement. Uh, in terms of cargo, we'll be shipping, let's say, Five tons today because it's between two quite big airports, and passengers on board will take 208. Cause it's a fairly full flight because obviously it's a pretty big uh, little hop there. Big little. <laughs> you know, I don't know. If, don't, is that actually a thing? I don't know. So whilst the briefing package generates, we can have a look at Navigraph Charts Cloud. And this is a paid subscription service. I pay for it. I pay six pounds a month for my charts and my nav data, which for me is very worthwhile. I want to go to Doha, not all the way down there. As you can see, every country in the world's involved here. You know, it's Qatar, not bloody Doha. Um, mm. I was looking for H for Hamad, but then I realized, yeah, it's Q. Um, PQ, Qatar, there you go. It's in Qatar, it's got OTBH, oh, sorry, OTBD, which is Old Doha, Al Udaid, which is where uh, most of the Desert Storm came out of, and Doha Hamad, which is the new Doha. Now, I was looking just. Well, that, now that we've got this popped up, we can go back to here because it's finished. And now it says print view. I've just got this 
and I'm running at max security at this stage so it refuses to run things like uh, this. But you can see we've got the whole thing laid out. Today flying is Qatari 1004. It's got a random A321 details in there but that's fine. Uh, it's a CFM engine A321 which is important. Moving down. So this is a bit of a confusing area so I'll walk you through it. So it says maximum takeoff weight, MTO, is 993 tons, 500 kilograms. Right, makes sense. MTO, maximum allowable takeoff weight. Now, if you look down here, you look, you've got the actual, t the estimated takeoff weight. Sorry. Now they don't know the actual takeoff weight until everybody's checked in, all the, and uh, we know who's showed up at the gate and who hasn't. Because um, obviously every you know every passenger has a 20 kilogram bag allocation, but some will fly with no bags and some will pay extra to take more than 20 kilograms, and or, or go up to the full 20 kilograms I should say. We've got moving right, we've got LAW. I believe that's landing weight, zero fuel weight, zero fuel weight. Quite heavy, quite heavy today. Um, cruise system. It's a cost index of 11, which is quite low. Actually, that's another thing we can review. Um, I'll come back to that. I'll just move it there. Uh, air distance, the distance we're going to fly 174 miles. Average wind is 267 at 60, which gives us. I think that's. Well, give us a tailwind, won't it? Yeah. Um, average wind chill, 15, 59 degrees. Average temperature is 14. Fuel flow kilograms is 3.7 tons per hour. Fuel bias is zero. T take off alternate, we don't have one. And our alternate is obviously for OMDW. Step climbs is that there's only the one which is from uh, taking off from Doha to cruising altitude, which is, should be, which is outlined there. Uh, fuel for the trip again, planned fuel. So the trip fuel, which is what we plan to burn in the 40-minute flight, is two and a half tons between here and um, Dubai. Contingency, so five percent on top of that, which is for, let's say we have to hold a bit longer, you know that kind of little, you know, little things like that, or the wind's just a little bit different, it gives us an extra two minutes of gas. It's 5%. Alternate to DWC, we need 80, uh, 876 kilograms for that, which gives us 12 minutes. And a final reserve, which is an unburnable reserve of 45 kilograms. So our minimum takeoff fuel is 5.763 tonnes. Takeoff fuel 5.763 tonnes. Blocking out of stand at Doha with 5963 on board. Again, we're going to lose some weight during the taxi out because obviously we burn fuel even on a taxi. Um, PIC name, Sanders Adam, that's me. I, I would put my squiggle there if I printed this off. Okay, routing Doha, direct to a place called Alsum. That'll be a SID, though, I believe. We'll uh, just take SIDs, 3 4. We'll take 3 4. Yeah, 3 4 left is the long runway. Oh, it's ILS 3 4. Awkward! SIDs. That's the SID data sheets, so that should be it there. Yeah. So if I just, I can't rotate it because it's in the stupid system. Uh, you get, you, you, there's two systems you can get to use with this. But if you don't mind, rotate. There we go. So there you go. So we're going out towards Alsum. So we're in Alsum one whiskey coming three four left, heading off towards Enerly. Coburn, out or above 5,000, then Gibbon, Tapke, all of that good stuff. This just shows you, it's, it says direct too because Simbrief isn't clever enough to understand SIDS yet. Then it's direct Astog, then an airway to a place called Itita, then direct Desdi, then a SID from, a star, sorry, from Desdi. We'll look at the stars later on. Okay, we'll go on Qatari, um, estimate off blocks time is 21 at 45. Takeoff estimation is for 5 past 10. On the ground estimation is quarter to 11, Zulu. Uh, in on blocks is 8 minutes to midnight, Zulu time. Block time, that's all outlined. It says we, and also what we would do is, as we're filling this in, because this would all go back to dispatch, so they wouldn't understand the flight. So, you know, they'd look at, say, if it was every single flight running late, why is that? Is it a late takeoff? Is it a late landing? Are we simply planning them to be too short? Uh, and that's uh, it's efficiency kind of things. Again, also, you've got your weights and your passengers. So we're taking 208 POB today. Let's say we get a no-show. I think you get out 10% of passengers don't show up for flights. 2.9 tons of cargo, and which also gives us a payload of 24.6 tons, because people are quite heavy. 
Uh, zero fuel weight 73.8 tons as we discussed takeoff weight 79.6 which is just a ton below MTO so we'll, be, we'll go thundering out of here terrain clearance check is disabled because again it's not clever enough to do that yet but that's a further outline of us going direct to Alt, out to Alsom than Astog um, also I'll quickly discuss this so it will be modern nationals the name of the place we are the ident is OTHH, which is the IKO code. That's the long lat, longitude latitude. Um, more information, and then you get start looking at wind on the wind, and I believe that's this. Yeah, it's 25 miles from Alsom, which is yeah, it works. So it's 20. Hmm, it's confusing me. Anyway, but that's oh yeah, it's altitudes. So 25 feet. 212, 220, 230, 230, 230, top of dropping but, uh, at uh, this point. It also gives you quite a good estimation of top of drop times. And it just gives you some more information here, which you can kind of work out what it means by saying OAT, outside air temperature, all that good stuff. Uh, these are all the winds. There are loads of wind information that will be given before flight. And it's so that we know, okay, so we're running a bit late. Can we make it up to flight level 250, which will give us a 500 to extra tailwind increase? Or maybe all the way up to 270, where we'll get an even better tailwind component. Um, this is just what we'd give ATC. We're in A321 with loads of information there. Um, leaving yeah, That's just basically a flight plan. And it also would list any major in up items. So if we're going oceanic and the cell call's broken, it would inform ATC of that. Uh, additional information there isn't any. This is all the weather. Best way to decode a um, to decode it at a meter is to do this. All right. Um, and then just all you would do, click, slack, and drag. Decode. Uh, um, yeah, basically, you just find yourself a meter decoder. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But if you want to do it the complicated way, what this basically outlines is winds on the ground are 2405, gusting to 16 knots. Uh, that's to do with visibility, which we don't particularly care about. Clouds, 7000 um, temperature, 18, dew point 15, so we could be expecting some fog. QNH 1020, no, sig no significant change expected. Time issued 918 till 2024. Um, this is change of, yeah, basically just outlines the, all the weather. I can't be bothered to go through it. This is loads of um, what we call no terms, not as termin. So things like when I was at Newcastle earlier today doing a flight, Bravo taxiways closed at the minute for resurfacing, so you can't use that. And it just informs you of stuff like that because. This flight will be an, a, a night flight, IRL. So we'll be coming into Doha, Dubai at night. And even though obviously all the uh, turn offs have to be correctly marked, etc., sometimes they aren't. And uh, it'll just mean that we know, oh, we can't vacate via that, let's not try. Means we don't kill any workers. And this is all the no towns associated with Dubai. <laughs> then we've got Al Maktoum, aka Dubai World Central. And that's just all sorts of information. Yeah, we've got a runway closed due to maintenance, things like that. Uh, then that's FIR, no terms. So you get no terms within the FIR. For example, Ukraine had one on. Uh, I don't know if it still does. Basically advising that it closed the entire FIR and you can't use it. And it gave a list of closed airways which you couldn't use in flight planning. Which is, which is absolutely crazy if you're trying to fly there because none of the flat flying systems could deal with the idea of not being able to use an entire FIR but yeah I'm pretty sure Navigraph still updates all of the U Ukraine stuff still even though nobody goes there because it's as I said broken I'm going to have to keep that there, I've kind of broken my tablet stand, I've just noted it flopping about so yeah that's all that covered now cost index is what I was going to show you next these are all a uh, massive list of airlines, links and AFSA I'll try to remember to link this in the show notes um, just going down, so we, it unfortunately doesn't list information about um, Qatar Airlines, but it does about Qantas. 
So for, if I was, to, oh, let's say I'm going to fly for Thompson today, and I'm flying one of the seven three seven eight hundreds, someone like G Tom from Newcastle to Corfu, which I'm planning to do soon. My cost index would be nine, and it just shows you all the cost indexes for the various airlines and various aircraft. Air France has probably got the, the most widely ranging ones. For example, delayed short haul, delayed long haul, all have different cost indexes. Anyway, guys, so actually, charts, we'll review the charts. Uh, F, F, C, is that it? No, I put ground chart. So we're over at Alpha, Alpha 10, so we're parked up in this area. I think we're parked about there. Sorry, this side. So we can review taxi route. I can also flip it the right way up for you. So we're over here, as I was saying. We get pushed out to uh, facing south. That is facing south, and no, facing east. Then taxiing off down this way. Then probably entering from Lima and blasting off in that general direction. The runways at, at um, Doha are massive. They're designed to accommodate fully loaded A380s. We're not going to have any issues. I showed you the SIDs. All anyway, as I say. Also, one more thing before we go back to. No, that's videos I want uh, on route plans. So what I need to do is I need to say global high, just look at the index, and then the area which we're flying in is roughly here. That's Mike Echo for Hotel Lima is the code of the chart. Um, Middle East is what I want. So you can see it's a fairly complex piece of airspace. So we take off from Hamad, which is here on the coast. But it, 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 you know, using this does help you a lot when, especially when if you have to divert from your, your route and you want to ask ATC for a different you know, to go direct to a certain waypoint, you can find them on here a lot easier than you can using your other systems on board. And yeah. So that's the airspace between um, Doha and Dubai, which is there. Things like I can't. It's that. There, there's Desdi. There's Atita. Uh, there's Astok. So yeah, that's basically the route down there. Then just zig straight into. Well, it's Sharjah. That's the cargo one, but that's Dubai there. And from Desdi, you take a Sid and you either sneak your way down into Dubai or you go around the back and in. Okay, guys, um, that's pretty much it for flight planning. So that's how we would flight plan to fly the Airbus A320, uh, well, A320, 21, A3, well, A318 through to 21 with Aerosoft. Uh, the next video you're going to see from me should be a how to fly the Airbus A320, 21, uh, with an example of flight for basically a crash course of how to be a first officer on the Airbus A321 by Aerosoft. Until then, folks, it's bye from me. Thanks for watching. See you then. Can't stop.